Tales of the Bizarre. Episode 3. The Satanic, Volcanic, Death Ride of Destiny? Ha! Ah, welcome back. I'm terribly sorry to have kept you waiting in fear. <laughs> but fear not. For tonight, we will see once and for all, for better or for worse, the outcome of the daring young chap, Chazowitz Taylor, on his traveling escapades across the world. When we last left Chaz, he was imprisoned by the Haligachi Huku Taku tribe and waiting his sacrifice into the fiery mountain of Lavalula. This bites my ass. You guys are powerfully untubular. But our final episode tonight begins not on the verge of a burning sacrificial plummet, but in the air where we meet with best friend. Steve Cooper. All right, son. Which direction did you see a friend surf off into? It was, uh, it was west. Well, we've been everywhere along this area. He couldn't have possibly gone further than this. You obviously don't know Chaz, you stupid helicopter flying bozo. So just keep looking. You're a rude little sucker, aren't you? Whatever. Oh, hey. What's under here? Don't touch that! Why? What is it? It's... Er, uh... Nothing. <laughs> now I really want to know what it is. No! Radical. It's a shiny black slab. God damn it! What? Is it? It's top secret, that's what it is. What does it do? What does it do? Uh, nothing, not a damn thing. I sure as hell don't know what's so special about it. Your friend probably drowned last night. Hey man, not cool. We're gonna find him. You're right. I'm sorry, Steve. We'll find him. At the base of the volcano, the tribesmen were gearing up for their trip up the dreaded Lavalula Mountain. Uh, uh, this is not how you treat guests from other cultures! Whatever, what do you want? Uh, uh, yeah, oh, they're shot! Uh, Alright, I'm walking! For days, the tribesmen poked jazz with sharp sticks up the steep and rugged terrain of Mount Lavalula. All the while chanting away to their gods contained within the holy volcano. Oh, man, this is a killer hike! Uh, lava, uh, lava, ooh, la, lava, 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 ooh, la, lava, 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 ooh, la, lava, 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 ooh, la, lava, lava. Long did you know what I got on what I got on? Oh, come on, I can't sing with you guys? What's the difference? Ah, only I'm really what I. Bodacious. Lava, lava, oola, lava, 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 oola, lava, lava. And so they trudged up the rest of the mountain overnight to discover the volcanic summit at dawn. No words could describe what Chaz felt upon gazing into the eye of the blazing beast. You guys know there's no way of getting in the Kano, right? But the tribesmen ignored his pleas, and things were looking very grim for young Jesuits. As the chanting grew louder, so too did the volcano in what seemed to be a direct response. This sucker Chaz thought upon gazing inside once again is going to erupt! The sucker's gonna explode! And right he was indeed. It was at this exact moment the tribe chose to rush Chaz in an attempt to push him into the exploding volcano. Uh, screw you, buddy! 
A tribesman suddenly seized Jazz by his foot, dragging him towards his demise. At precisely this instant, balls of lava began shooting out into the vicinity, destroying everything in their paths. A radical! And with that fiery splat upon his enemy, Jazz caught a break, but still had others to contend with. Back off, you tone deaf bozo breaths! <laughs> Meanwhile, in the sky... What is this thing? I don't know, son. Would you stop asking me? But, but what does it do? I already told you! Nothing, it's just a stupid age-old monolith, that's all. It doesn't do shit. Holy shit, it's Chaz. Oh man, Sally was right. I'm totally gonna die. Hey, Chaz. Holy shit, Steve. Bodacious, man. Blow him. I think this sucker's gonna blow. Oh, dude, I know it. I'm totally done for! Fuck, man! No! Sucks balls! Sucks your dad's balls! <laughs> but seriously, any second now, my feet are gonna be melted in molten lava! I know! Wait! I know! What are you doing, kid? We're like this! Aaron Broskovich! And with that idiotic utterance, Steve pushed the holy monolith off the helicopter. Whoa! Radical! That slap of black just crushed three little dudes! Wicked! Now ride it, bro! Ride that shit! Volcanic Mount Lava Lula? You too are my little bitch now. Logic was defied out there that day on Mount Lava Lula, but we saw the birth of a god among mortals. With a radical yell, young Jesuits hopped on a monolith black as night and rode it down the erupting volcano. Hey, fuck! Chill! Holy shit, bro, you are surfing molten lava! Tubular! Wow, that boy is surfing down a volcano in mid-eruption on a monolith from outer space. That really is something else. This giant ain't no thing but a cock brain! The volcanic eruption was said to have killed 30 of its island inhabitants and destroyed almost everything in its path. Chaz, however, surfed quite bodaciously back to safety, all the way to the comforts of the open sea. It was there that he was rescued by Steve. Yo, that was some bombastic surfage, my friend. Thanks, dude, for everything. That was the most doodly deed you did, dude. Well, dude, that's what dudes are for. And there you have it, folks at home. The story of a skeevy surfer who, after conquering the globe via surf, had his comfort stripped away from him by a tribal island band, then, through divine miracles, saved his own life by surfing down a volcano on an interplanetary board. And what does Chaz have to say about his most radical ride around the globe? Indigenous tribes and volcanoes off the coast of Mojito? It'd suck, man. Very good, young Jesuits. And might I say most sincerely that you 
you should party on in whatever fashion you see fit. Thanks to all you denizens at home for listening, you dolls of delirium, letters of the ludicrous, and tune in next week for another epochal episode of Tales of the Bizarre. I'm Moses Johansson. Good night. If you're like me, you're fed up with those. You know the ones I mean. Well, kick them to the curb and buy these from us.